for the air squat, we want our feet to be just outside our hips, and then we want our toes to be pointed out on a five to 10 degree angle. We're gonna start in an upright position, and the way you wanna trigger your squat is by shooting your hips back as if you're about to sit in a chair. As we do so, we wanna make sure that we keep that chest as upright as possible, and we start to drive those knees out over the toes and avoid those knees caving in. Once I start to travel down, we wanna stay active through the full squat position and achieve a below parallel status if you can. Now we're going to come back up by pushing through the full foot, sending the hips through at the top. So it's shoot those hips back and down like you're about to sit in a chair and then come on back up. What we're trying to avoid is to lose that tension at the bottom of the squat and drop those hips and round that back. So keep an active position at the bottom, even if that means you cannot go all the way down. Furthermore, if you need another scale, what you can do is sit into a chair and stand back up from there and just minimize your range of motion with the squat.